Hi, um, ready for the weekend, it's Friday night, um, I just really want to do a, a video on this little crazy person that writes loads of crap about myself and other people. Um, his, his name's even Ilya, Ilya, I'm not even sure how it pronounce his second name, a little fat Greek French guy. Um, his life seems to be really messed up and from what I'm seeing is when I started looking into it is he seemed to have had some sort of problem in the Philippines um, from expats not from them but he just seemed, didn't seem to integrate very well um, even the stuff he writes about being involved in a charity and all this sort of stuff I, where he said he was such a big member and key important person as a manager um, some people I know in that same town involved in some of the similar groups and well sorry the same groups didn't even know who he was yeah this guy was supposed to be running some village aid program um, but then when you look into the guy you find out his achievements are working in a restaurant or something he doesn't even have some you know a depth he's not a chef he's not a you know was he a waiter what is the guy just seems a complete fantasist because um, I know some people some people ask me why I don't take legal action against it well the truth is um, he's in a good position because he, he sits his little fat body over in France um, and under EU law, you can actually get hold of him, but it's actually easier for me to move to France and file a case than it is to do from the UK, because talking with the police force in the UK, um, they're not sure how to deal with it, um, because it's still, it's cybercrime is still an infancy, and they're only just starting to prosecute people in the UK for offences in the UK. Um, so getting somebody within Europe is far more difficult. I've contacted the French police, not really interested. All the photos and stuff he's stolen from Facebook and everywhere else. Um, and then reposting a load of lies and manipulating photos. Google take very little interest in actually getting them off the web. Um, the only time they seem to take notice is when legal action is either threatened or already in place for copyright theft. Um, and that action only, see, action only seems to take place if you're in a country where they feel they will be prosecuted and sued. Um, because they, they would, um, from what I understand, fall under third party publisher. Uh, arrangements. But either way, the guy has had his sites removed from WordPress, he's had them removed from Blogger, Blogspot, uh, his own, he had hosting at GoDaddy. We had all of those removed and then he takes some, he ended up getting some shoddy, um, dodgy hosting offshore um, in similar hosting that um, people with um, Viagra, um, prostitution, pornography, and a lot of other dubious stuff used for hosting because they can hide behind the fact it's offshore, um, then using uh, offshore uh, domain name registrations that don't give you the person who's registered it. The guy's an idiot. Um, this stuff is like it's offensive, but to be honest, it doesn't bother me. It's just that I'm just, you know, if if I knew somebody that was doing this stuff, I would be really worried about their mental health because it's pretty obvious to me the guy has no life. Um, I'm not sure if his wife and kids are still with him. Um, his kids are probably near enough adult age now, um, but the guy just seems to be a complete failure. And I'm not trying to run the guy down, he's just the, looking into him. He's spent his time in the Philippines whining on forums and then when he got banned from forums, started attacking people with these false allegations and stuff. 
And I found stuff as far back as 2005. I mean, that's a long time period to be harassing people online for a country you don't even live in anymore. Um, so I'm really, I'm, for me, I don't understand the guy. Um, you know, if, I, if I'd had such a hard time in a country, the first thing I would do when I left it is just wash my hands of it and not think about it again. I would just move on and enjoy life. But this guy seems so obsessed with a country he has no connection with anymore. Um, it's like he talks about a 10 hectare farm that he has on the whole. He, he, he can't actually own a 10 hectare farm, never mind own one. Foreigners can't own it. And the fact is, he doesn't own it. I believe the farm is actually, um, from what I've been reading, is actually government land. He, he might be, he, his wife may be leasing the, the family uh, um, some land or something. But it's just utter nonsense. Um, even the charity project doesn't make any sense. His biggest achievement, where he says he was giving um, funding and food and stuff, was to his neighbour. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's not an achievement. You're, if you're taking money from overseas to give it to your neighbour, um, and then expecting to boast that he's doing such a great job. Um, in fact, I think those people that he was allegedly helping about actually died. I mean, what, what is wrong with a guy? Um, now, for me, I, I really don't care what the guy does. I, uh, uh, I don't see. I don't even know the, the website names because I don't go on them. Um, but I know uh, because my system um, is protected against malicious websites. I can't even log into them. What I find is, as soon as I click on one, let's see if I can. Let's see if I can find one because I have to like look for images of myself <laughs> because I don't go to the site, so I don't even know what they're called. Um, let's have a look. Let's do a Google search for my name. Okay, I'll just put my name in. Okay, we've got some searches come up. Uh, let's see, it's all night sweating. Oh, here we go. There, there's one here. Uh, turning Filipino. Okay, this is one of his uh, websites. He spent a lot, he spent a lot of time and money on me. <laughs> da -da -da -da. I can't even visit the site. Instantly blocked and told not to go there because it's got malicious software on it. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh yeah, there is one down. I noticed. Yeah, hang on. Oh, the, there's one where I'm uh, wanted in the UK um, as a criminal and can't return to the UK. Can you guess where I am? Um, and one of the, the things I did here was contacted the local police and had a meeting with the local police to deal with this idiot um, while I was waiting for work to start. And everything I look at, this guy's just stupid. Um, it's just a complete fantasy. Because that's, that's how I got involved, because when I started looking into what he was doing, I started contacting different people, the people he was writing about, and then you suddenly realise they all had the same stuff happen. And then when they all, when everyone starts talking to each other, you start to build up a picture that everybody's just normal. The only person that isn't is this even Iliadis. Iliadis, what's his name? I can't, like I said, I can't say it. I'm not... I, I'm not even uh, claiming to be able to say it because the fact is I wouldn't know his pronunciation, his French, Greek, he's probably got his own very special version of saying it, being such a weird guy. Um, but his spelling is Ivan, E-V-A-N-I-L-I-A-D-I-S, Iliadis or something. But anyway, the guy is just a freak. I don't know why he does it. I don't know what the... Uh, what his point is but this seems to be his mission um, I mean if I said to you guy that the guy is in his late to mid 60s 
that would probably shock you because this is the sort of thing I would expect a teenager to be doing. Um, but who cares? Um, I, the only reason I made this video is I know it will rank highly um, against the crap he puts out. And alongside it, you can go and visit his sites because the best defense I have is actually go and read his stuff because it will make you laugh because the guy's an idiot. Um, it doesn't take long to see what he writes contradicts even the stuff he writes. The guy's just stupid. Um, but I say, I'm wanted in the UK. Here I am. Uh, same, a bit like saying, oh, Matt, the security guard in the Middle East. Yeah, if you spend any time in the Middle East, the only people that would actually be um, white and security would be close protection units. You employ um, guys from India and Pakistan or Syria even because there's a lot of Syrian police but the guy doesn't even know the Middle East that's why he doesn't even understand what he's talking about um, a bit like the Philippines the guy doesn't he knows hardly anything about the Philippines went there failed there ran out of money went to France sitting there with his lips stuck out complaining about everybody else what a farce <laughs> but like I said I'm not I'm not vindictive about it. As you can see, I find it quite funny um, because he just doesn't matter. He has no effect on me. Um, the only reason I'm putting this video together is somebody brought it up today and I just thought, you know what, I've been doing a lot of YouTube videos. Let's do one on him um, because he doesn't like people telling the truth about him. And beyond that, that's it for me. I won't be blogging about him or anything else because I really don't care about him. He is irrelevant. He he just needs to be noticed for himself um, because nobody else reads it, nobody else listens to him, nobody has an interest in him. Um, yeah. And I'm not being vindictive or nasty or anything, it's just that I just think he could do much better doing something positive than compulsive lying. But anyway, let me know what you think. And to be honest, uh, for me, even uh, even whatever his face is, um, it's a closed chapter for me. Never met the guy, don't know him, um, just know the crap he writes. And I got that because I banned him from my forum, um, a forum I no longer even have. The guy's a complete, Basket case. Okay, thanks. <laughs>